I definitely have too much lip gloss on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've sat down and recorded a video like this where we have a conversation. Today I'm going to be talking about navigating school particularly secondary school, but this is useful at any point. So yas, let's get into the video. I have my notes here, so I'm just gonna be kind of looking down, but it's fine. The format of today's video is I'm going to be sharing and reflecting on some of the experiences I had and situations I had in secondary school and the lessons I've learned. God recently brought these memories back to my mind a few days ago. I was just startled about how once upon a time that was me and that was my life. Some of the things that happened or that I did weren't great but I really thank God for the growth that he's allowed to happen in my life. But I hope these lessons learned upon reflection are useful to you guys and you guys can learn from it. I started secondary school in the UK in year eight and so I struggled to make friends because a lot of people had already formed their friendship groups from year seven. I had a very strong Nigerian accent so I kind of stuck out and no one was like, no one thought that was cool. I struggled to get on track with the British schooling system. It was, it was a hard move, it was difficult. I just didn't enjoy secondary school. I didn't want to ever like put my hands up or talk. Just stand out in any way so I really struggled and I also got moved around forms quite a bit so I didn't get to make friends long-lasting friends but it got easier towards the end in terms of my confidence and getting settled it got easier at that time taking my faith seriously which was always like a part of my life and also wanting to like be cool and accepted and worldly in a sense I'm sure everyone struggled with school in some way so moving on from that eventually around year nine late year nine I formed like a trio friendship group and we're gonna call the first one Jane and the second one Sarah so Jane and I were friends first then we both became friends with Sarah. Jane and I found out that Sarah was telling both of us things that didn't match up but made me and Jane like pushed us further apart from each other. One day we spent some time together, just the two of us, and we basically unveiled to each other all the things that Sarah had been telling us that weren't true or were divisive. We wrote down a list of all the things that she had done wrong to both of us and in the friendship and we were very very bold about sharing this list to anyone who cared to listen, um, talking about the situation with anyone and upon reflection that was really really bad. We got into a place where we were being self-righteous and gossiping and slandering her but also like not feeling bad about it because we thought well she did us wrong so we're in the right to I guess inform people to let them know what kind of person she was. That did not come from a place of love or grace. I didn't extend love to her and I know for sure that that affected her time at school. And I guess the message that I want to draw from that situation is that you shouldn't let people's actions towards you dictate how you behave. You might feel justified or you might be justified to the world's measure and feeling the way you're feeling and so acting out according to that way because they wronged you. But that's not God's way, that's not love, that's not grace. And you never know what the person is going through that has led them to do whatever they've done. I recently did a plan on gossiping and you would think gossiping is this easy thing, just don't talk about someone behind their back. There's so many things that we do that's gossiping. The Bible describes gossip as evil. So I'll definitely link the plan below and you guys should definitely check it out if you're just if you want to find out more about gossiping and what it means and what it entails, it's evil, period. Another thing I did during my time at secondary school was I had put out this kind of vibe or aura, so I felt like I had to carry it on through secondary school because this was my personality or this was the way I'd chosen to express myself and changing halfway through was weird. This included things like lacking confidence to things like gossiping. I felt like I had been in conversations where I'd gossip about people so if I then made a stand to be like oh I don't want to join you in gossiping anymore then that would be weird or if I suddenly started to get bolder then that would be weird. So I felt like I had to carry on this persona that I would made or designed. But I think if you're no longer comfortable with something or if you're growing and gossiping with something you no longer enjoy or there's just 
there's just change and growth in you you should definitely feel encouraged you should feel encouraged to step out express yourself in this new way and stand out and don't feel like you need to carry on this pers persona or personality that you've shown people there's definitely strength and boldness in breaking out of that mold even though it makes you look weird and people just think you're being extra or being fake and it will definitely be encouraging for other people who are also going through that to see you change your ways another situation i had with the friend sarah was she would always say things like oh do you think it's okay to kiss your friend i think it's okay to for friends to kiss and things like that and i used to agree with her because i felt like well i have to because she's my friend she's cool and i want to be accepted or whatever validation came from agreeing with her and one day I, w I was never intending to do this and one day I was on the phone and we were showing an umbrella and she kissed me I guess I'm sharing this because first of all young people these days are exposed to like mad 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 things and I guess pretending that it's not happening is not helping anyone in the event I was very passive I didn't think I didn't know it was gonna happen but I'd made myself available to that point where she thought it was okay to do that and if I had portrayed myself in a different manner if you don't stand for something you'll fall for everything if I stood for something which was I'm not comfortable with kissing you or just kissing random people or just kissing friends then she would not have felt comfortable to do that with me you shouldn't make yourself available for someone else to use you for their sin the way that you can make yourself not available for someone's sin is to read the bible and to know what is sin and what displeases God and to know what pleases God have it in your heart and stand for the word of God and stand in line with the word of God and also have a wise counsel around you listen and talk to people who are wiser and have more bible knowledge and have more experience in life in general and have gone through what you're going through I'm sharing all these things that happened in my secondary school time just to encourage you guys I definitely want to do more things like this where I'm just talking about my experiences and the lessons learned comment down below any lessons you guys have learned in secondary school, sixth form, university, whatever period you are at that could help or encourage someone lastly I want us to just pray together I know that everything is easier said than done but I thank God that we're not where we used to be even when I guess it's easy to think of all the parts about us that we need to change or need to improve there are so many things that we need to do to better ourselves and to become more like Jesus but I thank God that we're not where we used to be. I thank you, Lord, for everyone listening in. Lord, I pray that you will see our hearts, that we want to be better and we want to treat people kinder, that, Lord, we want to just be vessels of love and peace in whatever community we're in, whatever situation we're in. I pray that you will teach us, we will read our word more, to become more like you, to find out more about you and how you and what Jesus would do in these situations that we find ourselves in. Mold us into the people that you want us to be, oh God. You mold us to become more like Jesus. I pray for everyone that we've wronged in the past with our actions, Lord. I pray, Lord, I know there's like loads of people that we've hurt in the past, some that we've been able to say sorry to and some that we haven't been. Any hurt that we've caused in people, oh Lord, that Lord, you will heal those hurts. Teach us how to interact with people with love and grace. And that Lord, when we fail in this, we'll have grace in ourselves as well. Not be too um, condemning of ourselves, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just pray for peace as we go on with this week, Lord, that everyone listening here will just feel peace like no other from you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways, and I will see you next time. Subscribe to join my journey through life, faith, and fun. Have a good week, and God bless.